And these are just some of the parts that I'm going to be using for the MPPD project. These are some um, MBR2535 uh, Shaki rectifiers. Some um, LM317T. Those are not actually going to be part of the project proper, but those are going to be for a um, MPPD simulator that I'm going to be building. Or it's going to be for a PV array simulator. I'll cover that in a future video. Some uh, IR5305, these are the P-channel MOSFETs. These are some of the ACS713 current sensing chips. They're a little tiny. I've got them in this uh, plastic bag because it says on because it said on the original anti-static bag that these are uh, very sensitive to uh, humidity. Or at least that that's something that should be cautioned against is uh, high humidity. At least in the original packaging. But, see just how tiny they are. Those are about, which are blurry as crap, but each of those, because this, again, this camera doesn't take good macro shots, but on the other hand, it's got good audio. So I'm, because I don't need to do any kind of super zoom shots, I'm using this. But, see just how small they are on the little tiny gray dots, which are just little gray blurs. Each of those is 50 mils on center. And, yeah, it's 50 mils on center. So that's, again, really, really, really tiny chips. And there's 25 of them in this little um, piece of tape. Because, again, being surface mount, these are, you know, as most surface mount components are, the packaging in tape. This little strip of them, 25, 87 bucks. So, yeah, very expensive uh, components. Then I've got these two, um, but I might be getting some more. These are, um, oh, by the way, those are the ACS 713s, if I didn't mention that already, because I have no short-term memory, so I can't remember. But anyways, um, these are the ACS 758s, which is pretty much a 50-ampere version of those. These are 7 bucks a piece. So, yeah, fairly expensive chips, and very funny-looking, but then again, these are just, uh, two thick ones are obviously the, um, for the current sensed, these uh, work by sensing the magnetic field of the of a uh, current passing through them. That's what the two big thick leads are for, and then the three little ones. One of them is the three volts to five and a half volt supply. One of them is a signal out. One of them is ground. And I've got the uh, MC three four zero six three supply for the um, uh, pick marker controller and um, LEDs. Um, filters and all that other stuff. Then I've got the uh, PIC 16S785s, the MOSFET driver chips, the bottom uh, tube is uh, TC1411s, the top one is the TC4426. The bottom ones are single channel MOSFET drivers, the top ones are dual channel MOSFET drivers. More expensive, these are I think about a buck something each in uh, quantity. Of the quantities that I got them, these ones are like 50 something cents. Uh, but the um, TC4426 will drive two separate MOSFET channels simultaneously, so those are for um, uh, the uh, dual channel MPPD controller. Then I've just got uh, more chip sockets, which I need to get a lot more of. Uh, heat sinks, more heat sinks. Uh, terminal blocks, these ones are. 20 ampere ones from the uh, Jamco. These are the uh, DigiKey ones. 30 ampere. Onshore technology. Country of origin, China. Fortunately, one interesting thing to note is that the uh, MOSFET driver chips are actually domestically made, so that's one good thing. 30 amperes. And if I get the inverter version built and can find some 4 ounce square foot copper boards, I've got these little comedically huge terminal blocks. These ones are, they claim 90 amperes. These are, but you might actually be able to read. It's uh, Marlon P. Jones, part number 18522. Buck 25 each, which is not bad considering that these guys were anywhere from 30 ad cents to 50 ad cents each. But, claim 90 amperes. Um, I don't know, but uh, certainly I wouldn't be pushing them any harder than 50 amperes or whatever. And, 
what all there is. And then I've got this little um, perf board for the prototyping stage and the, um, which I haven't built yet, it's a Canakit CK1301 um, pick programmer, so that I'm probably going to build tonight or over the weekend or whatever. But, lots of stuff and lots of money. <laughs>